What is up guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first of hopefully many Hearthstone deck tech videos. So today is going to be about the Control Hunter, which is actually an archetype that was very briefly explored back after the Undertaker nerf. And I think that it has a lot more potential than it did before, now that there are a couple new control type hunter cards that are coming out with Grand Tournament. So that's why I decided to make this video, because in light of the new releases and everything, I figure it might actually become a relevant type of archetype, or a relevant archetype rather. So uh, first off, we're going to, I'm just going to define the, the differences here. So we have two cards that I'm thinking are probably going to make a difference in the traditional um, deck that was used way back when Undertaker was nerfed. And those are the Bear Trap being used, which is, uh, it, it's a two drop, obviously, since it's a secret. Um, and after your hero is attacked, summon a 3-3 bear with taunt. So, I think that that's fantastic value, first of all, but then getting a 3-3 body out on the field off of your mad scientist no less, I think is absolutely fantastic. For 2 value, you're getting 5-5 five, five worth of stats over time, with and with 3-3 three, three of it being taunt. So I think that that's fantastic. I think it has a lot of potential, and I think that it really breeds a lot of use in new life, even, into the new uh, possibilities with Control Hunter. So that right there is something I'm really excited about. The second one is a little bit higher cost by one, actually, so we have Power Shot. So traditionally, people would be using Arcane Shot, which is a targetable two damage spell for one, and that was their way to remove anything really. Okay, that that's your that's your hand removal that just gave you the possibility to quickly remove something from the field. And while that was somewhat effective at the time, I think that Power Shot has a lot more potential to be more effective because it deals 2 damage to the minion you target and minions next to it, so you're automatically getting more value out of it, which would be about 3 Arcane Shots worth of value. Of course, that isn't necessarily right because there are more to take, more things to take into account and the possibility you're only going to be targeting one thing on the field to get rid of it, but it is too higher, so you have to take that into account, although I don't think early game you're necessarily going to be using that, and the main draw of using Arcane at that point was being able to play Azure Drake for the increased spell damage and then dropping it, so by default you're going to be able to play Power Shot when you usually would have played Arcane, and it's going to obviously be worth more unless you only have one thing on the field. So I think that that is absolutely fantastic. I think it has a lot of potential, and I'm excited to see where that card brings the Control Hunter and if it can actually make a dent in the meta. So the rest of it's really traditional. I don't want to go over it too much because I think you guys probably have seen it and been annoyed at it a little bit before. So we have the Web Spinner, gives you some beasts, obviously, and if it gets silenced, then it's only one loss in value, and you can get rid of the Owl that silenced it, so it's not necessarily much of a loss, really. Um, we have Feign Death, which is just fantastic for some of the cards in this deck, and moving on, we'll be able to... Uh, We'll be able to tell you a little bit more about that when we get to some other cards. So Freezing Trap is just the quintessential control card, and it's what makes the hybrid decks and mid-range decks work right now, and the reason why I think that Control Hunter can actually become a used archetype. We have Steam Weedle Sniper, just allows you to manipulate the board a little bit more giving you the ability to use 2 damage, 2 drop, uh, basically is what it really is. This is 2 damage, uh, 2 mana, just targetable attack for board control, which is fantastic. Uh, so definitely need the Steam Weedle Snipers. Eagle Horn Bow, you always want to have those just in case you see Acolytes, like if... If, if, if Patron dies after which I after this TGT release, which I doubt it will, but if it does, then Eaglehorn might be able to be switched out with something else, but I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt that will actually happen, and I really think that Eaglehorn Bow is a staple anyways in control decks, so being a hybrid type of class, it would have used it anyways, so being a control deck, it absolutely wants this card. 
Moving on, we have Animal Companion. For obvious reasons, this is valuable. Power Shot, we've already went over. Savannah High Main is just extremely valuable. You get a 6-5 body out on the field, which is very powerful in itself. And then the Death Rattle is great too, especially if you can drop a Feign Death and get two 2-2s two -twos out of it for only a minor, minor value of two, uh, or a minor, minor cost of two mana as Feign Death. So I think that that's fantastic, and it breeds itself to a lot of use for the control archetype again so you can see where I'm coming from here hopefully there are a lot of cards in the hunter just uh, library of cards that you can use with it that really do lend itself to that archetype and I think it's not really been explored because removal has been a little bit dodgy with it and also because you know you're obviously going to see the freezing trap come out I mean there you're probably not going to see too many explosive traps being played in the control classes it's more of an aggro type of card or even a defense against aggro so if that becomes more of an issue then maybe we do see the explosive trap being switched in in place of bear trap or even in place of one bear trap and one freezing trap so that might be a possibility but i doubt it i highly doubt it unless the meta continues to be extremely aggro oriented moving on to the neutrals we have iron beak owl obviously silences for a low cost are fantastic mad scientist is to bring out that bear trap to bring out that freezing trap it's just really great piloted shredder big game hunter i mean they they have their obvious uses here azure drake we've already explained it's going to be powerful with power shot uh, no pun intended. Sludge Belcher is just your really, really powerful and useful, extremely useful taunt card that has multiple purposes, just really lends itself to the control archetype as well. Uh, now moving on to the legendaries for this particular deck. So we have Sylvanas, and Sylvanas is possibly the best feign death target in the entire game, which is just freely stealing you one card on your opponent's side of the field. So I think that that is fantastic. It's basically a two drop mind control. Uh, of course, that's untargetable, but random steal is still great and obviously is going to be fantastic in the sense that you get a free card that your opponent was using to build tempo and build board control. So that's really great. Dr. Boom, because he's balanced, right? And Ragnaros, because, again, in all control decks, really, he's a staple at this point. It's just that he's so powerful, being able to do 8 damage consistently just kills board control. It just kills it. It's fantastic, and I love, 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 love seeing the card. So, that in itself is the entire deck. I will be linking it if you want to see exactly the makeup of it. There are some certain cards that there's only one of. Um, so make sure that you check that out, um, and I have, I'll have an explanation for matchups and everything after the entire thing is released, and if I can manage to get the cards together. Otherwise, this is just going to be a concept type of video, but it is somewhat of a deck tech because this has been proven to be very useful in the past. It has gotten multiple people to legend, but... We haven't seen it in so long because of the face hunter, because of the hybrid hunter being so plentiful. So with these cards, boosting the power up just a little bit to where I think it might be more relevant than it is right now currently with what we have, I think we might just start to see control hunter become a relatively used class and uh, archetype rather too. So now getting on to the one card I think we might see in it, but I'm not sure. And I... I guess I don't really know uh, because it's so so weak if we'll see it so if <laughs> if uh, acid mob becomes used it's a 427 drop okay I mean that's very 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 high cost to pay and just losing your tempo not to mention using it in favor of dr. boom almost has to mean that you're going to get a crazy amount of value out of it so I'm kind of concerned about it, but in the same vein, I think that it could be a really great control-based card. You could have a couple things out on the field left over and then just totally take out your opponent's field with it. So low-cost minions can basically become minions that um, just kill on contact, basically. So I think that that has a lot of potential, but I'm not sure yet. And 
obviously since we haven't seen it yet, I can't really comment on the validity of it in or even viability of it in any constructed format, but it does have potential and I can totally see where someone might think that it'd be very valuable and easy to use. I just I just don't know yet. So I guess we'll see in the future if it becomes used at all, but I really I just don't know. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out the deck, build it for yourself, do anything you want to it, you know, just see what how many of each card I used and why and what and everything. I'm going to have a nice write up of it on the Hearthpone website. So link will be in the description below, so go click on that if you want it. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, you can either write them on the Hearthpone deck uh, list because there's a small like comment section you can write in or you can write it on my video right now below. So uh, I'll definitely respond and maybe we could just talk about strategy. I really enjoy that. So strategy discussions are probably my favorite part of this game, making new decks. It's so much fun. So I definitely want to see if you guys have any input for it. You think it's great. You think it's horrible. You think it won't work or will work for whatever reason. Let me know in comments somewhere. Uh, make sure you go ahead and vote on the deck if you like it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Until then, I, I was going to say something, but never mind. We'll, we'll leave that for another video. We'll leave it for another video.